So Dr. Krishnan, earlier you mentioned that we provide oxygen therapy as kind of fuel for the cells and not necessarily specifically for shortness of breath or anything like that. So if oxygen therapy doesn't necessarily relieve shortness of breath, how can somebody um, understand whether it's working for them or not? Absolutely. So uh, I think that's a beautiful way of explaining it, that the oxygen is really fuel for your, for your cells to work. Cells in the brain, the heart, the kidney, everywhere. Um, now, when your organs are starved of oxygen, oftentimes it'll trigger your body to feel short of breath. And so being short of breath is sometimes a symptom of not getting enough oxygen, okay? Um, and then giving people oxygen in that circumstance may relieve part of their shortness of breath. What we know though, is don't rely on shortness of breath to know whether or not you need oxygen. The best way to, to, to determine if you need oxygen is to measure the amount of oxygen in your blood. And there's two real ways of doing that. A relatively simple way to do that is to use what's called a pulse oximeter, which is a, a small clip with that measures the amount of, 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 of saturation of hemoglobin in your blood. So it, it's, a, it's a clip that you wear on your finger uh, that, or in your, on your ear. Sometimes people use it as a, they can tape it over their forehead as well. There are different ways of measuring the amount of oxygen in your blood using these, what, what we call non-invasive monitors. And that gives us an idea of, of whether or not uh, your oxygen level in your blood is low. Um, what we've learned is that just relying on shortness of breath may be too late. Your body has a way of adapting and that really you should be measuring how much oxygen is in your, in your blood to determine if you need oxygen. Uh, another way that uh, we measure whether or not you need oxygen is, is what's called an arterial blood gas. An arterial blood gas um, is where we actually take some blood out of your arteries, typically in your wrist, but it could be from other places. And then we put it in a special machine that actually measures the amount of oxygen in your blood. Arterial blood glass measurements are the gold standard to determine whether or not your oxygen level is low. Uh, however, it does require drawing blood from uh, one of your arteries and, and may, it may not be always be accessible or available depending on which doctor's office you go to, or it may require that you go to a special testing facility to get that done. So uh, whenever possible, I would encourage you to get an arterial blood gas test in order to determine if you need oxygen. But as an initial step, it's probably very reasonable to just get a pulse oximeter, put it on your fingertip and measure the amount of oxygen you have there. The reason I'm mentioning these two the ways of measuring oxygen is that the gold standard really is an arterial blood gas test. These pulse oximeter are, are basically a, a relatively practical way of, of getting to a similar answer. But pulse oximeters are not foolproof. Um, we know that uh, for a range of reasons that they could get it wrong, uh, especially if you're on the cusp of, getting, uh, of, of having low oxygen, sometimes they overread or sometimes they underread the amount of oxygen in your blood particularly among people with darker skin, um, that tends to be where some measurement occurs, measurement errors occur if you use a pulse oximeter. So arterial blood gas is always the gold standard, but in my office, I tend to start with a pulse oximeter. And if I'm suspicious that this person may have low, low levels of oxygen, even though the pulse oximeter is reading normal, I might actually have them go get, a, get an arterial blood gas test. So in summary, two ways of knowing if you need oxygen is a pulse oximeter or an arterial blood gas test. The arterial blood gas test is really the, the gold standard, the one that most lung doctors would say is the most accurate way of knowing.